Girl here with another vintage haul video from the flea market. I hope I'm not cutting my head off this time. Uh, but before I get to the flea market, I want to show you just a few garage sale finds I got. I just stopped at one sale the other day, but I got a bunch of fun stuff. Um, I spent $5 on all of this, and these are just some pretty linens. I was really interested in the dishcloths because I always buy these vintage linen dishcloths. Dish um, but he said, oh, you know, take the whole pile. So I did. Uh, so I got those, and then this is just some pretty embroidered little, like, guest towels, I guess. I don't really have any place to put these. This has a monogram on it, maybe. I don't know. Is that a monogram? Is that a B? I don't know. But there's, um, just one or just one. Anyway. Whatever. Uh, and then here's another dish towel with fruit on it. Pretty. I just go through these kind of towels like crazy. So, uh, And then I bought this tablecloth separately. It's a printed cotton tablecloth. And I will... Um, resell that. I did see it's got like a little little flaw on it there and it's I did see a little a real small stain like just a little speck. And it's not in the best condition but it's not terrible either so anyway. Uh, and then the last thing I got from the garage sale was this. This is a big wooden fish and it's actually a carving set and it comes from India but um, you know I don't it looks pretty old uh, I just thought it was kind of cool uh, um, so three dollars for this and two dollars for the linens okay now I'm gonna get to the um, flea market I did you'll be happy to know find a bunch of jewelry this time so, I'm going to go through the jewelry first. And this, I think, is fairly hideous. Um, it's a turquoise necklace, but I really bought it for the turquoise because that's a heck of a lot of turquoise. And it was only $2. So, uh, you know, what the heck. And then I got, this is just a string of beads. It's not a necklace, but it's a nice string of Melifiori. Murano beads, and that was five dollars. Then I got this glass bracelet, which is kind of a faux amber, and I think this is probably from the 40s. And they were, you know, finding all kinds of ways to make jewelry without using much metal. And I paid, I think, I want to say seven dollars for that. This is probably my favorite piece that I bought. This is an Art Nouveau brooch. And it's a, it's not a reproduction. It's a genuine one from the early 19th or 20th century. Um, you can see it's got it's got that old style clasp. And it's probably it early early 20th century, I'd say. Not not Victorian because the hinge is a little more modern. But uh, this was sold to me as sterling silver. I haven't tested it yet. I don't think it is. And um, I didn't think it was when I bought it. I paid $15 for that, and I am happy to pay that even if it's not silver, because that's a really nice... I mean, just look at the quality of the silver, of the metal work on that. It's really pretty. Okay, let's see. I hit a, a table that was three for $5. So, let me show you what I got on that. I always, you know, it's like one piece is $3 or you can get uh, three for $5. And I always have to get three so I can get a better deal. <laughs> anyway, this is the first thing. It's an enamel stick pin. And uh, it's kind of neat because the back of it says San Diego Festival Inc. 1989. And then it says Fabergé Pinecone Egg. So... I thought that was kind of fun. And it's, you know, it's nicely made. And this is a 
Napier, uh, just a gold wreath brooch. It's pretty nice. And uh, as if I need more of these, a micro mosaic pendant. And um, it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any missing stones. Okay, let's see. I got this. This is a JJ or Jonette jewelry brooch of a it's brass and it's a cat on a swing with a bird. These are very collectible. They sell from fifteen to twenty dollars if they're in good condition usually. And um, I buy and sell them a lot. You know, it's it's kind of a bread and butter item. And let's see, what else is here? Okay, I got this. Probably paid a bit much for this because there's not much silver in it, but it's a little sterling silver charm with um, Milfiori cane glass pendant in the middle of it. And I don't think the chain is sterling silver, unfortunately. <laughs> so that kind of, you know, five dollars just for the pendant was probably a little much. But it's cute. I just, I thought it was real different. I haven't seen those before. Um, here's a nice piece. This is a Zuni Native American turquoise and sterling silver ring. It's not marked, but I bought this from uh, one of my guys that I go to all the time, and he tests everything, so he, he says it's definitely sterling silver. And uh, I paid 15 for that, which was a pretty good price. I was surprised he gave me such a good price on that. Uh, let's see. Did I pay for this? This is an onyx and sterling silver ring with marcasites. Uh, it might be Thai, made in Thailand, but it doesn't say so. I'm not sure, but I thought it was awfully pretty. And I paid, I want to say eight dollars for that. It might have been ten, but I think it was eight. And uh, this is a sterling silver can of teal brooch. Um, this is a pretty old one. because You can see it's got, well you may not be able to see, I hope you can. It's got the tube hinge, this, the long wide hinge, which is a sign of an older piece of jewelry. And it's got a C-clasp and a pretty long pin. Those are all things that indicate, you know, more of a Victorian era piece. So um, I think I paid, I want to say five dollars for that. Uh, this, okay, I got, let's see, I got a bunch of rings for 10 bucks a piece. Let me see if I can find all the $10 rings. That and that, I think. Um, first one, this is a Native American Navajo uh, turquoise and coral. Kind of a, it's a little different design than you usually see. It's a wide band. Oh, it's handmade. It's really nice. Um, I got this. This is a, um, a gold washed sterling silver. I'm not sure what the green stone is. I'm hoping it's a jade. I haven't looked at it real closely yet. It looks kind of like jade. Uh, second one. Um, then I got this one. This is sterling silver and I am imagining these are real stones. I don't know what the green one is. I'm pretty sure the red ones or garnet. I don't, maybe, you know, low quality diamonds. I'm not really sure. Um, the guy who sold this to me for 10 bucks knows his jewelry, so I'm not imagining they're super valuable, but um, I may take this to it. I meant to ask him, and I just never got around to asking him what the stones were. Um, anyway, I, I'll probably take that to a jeweler and find out what they are, but that's pretty design. And then this one is fun. It's a, um, I think that's probably onyx, black ring, and then, oh look, it turns and it becomes mother of pearl. <laughs> um, I don't know what that writing is. I, it looks vaguely Asian to me. So, um, anybody know? It's like a little X with a dot. Anyway, I thought that was fun. And then the last one is multi-stone 
And these are real stones. They're uh, citrine, garnet, amethyst, blue topaz. What's the yellow one? I forget what the yellow one is, but they are real stones. Yeah, just a pretty rainbow ring. And then I got this. This is sterling silver, and I think it's citrine. Uh, little yellow green stones. And that was $8. Uh, this I'm pretty sure I overpaid for. I just get excited when I see Art Nouveau jewelry because I love it so much. I paid $7 for that and it is in terrible shape. I'm hoping, I haven't tried to clean it yet, I'm hoping it will clean and shine up and look a little better. You can see the back of it is just black. But it's, um, it's kind of, it's a, well, I, was showing, I think I was showing it to you upside down. It goes like this because it's a um, pendant also. Um, yeah, anyway, seven bucks. Uh, let's see. These earrings, I did pay up on these. I paid 15 for these earrings. But they've got some very nice inlay work. These are Zuni also. They've got the little dangle feathers. And they've got um, turquoise, coral, onyx, mother of pearl. And it's kind of an unusual design with these raised stripes. And are these ones signed? Uh, no, not signed. And then I got these, uh, these are Zuni inlaid sterling silver Oops. earrings. These are signed. They're signed BY. I hope I will be able to figure out who that is. Uh, but it's nice work. And those were $10. Um, this is another um, Zuni piece inlaid with, uh, oh, it's got a lot of different stones. It's coral, malachite, turquoise. Uh, I'm not really sure what it all is. I don't know what that yellowstone is. Um, Anyway, pretty. Ten dollars on that. And this is the last piece of jewelry. <sighs> In case you can't tell, the cat's decided to go romping around. Yes. She's been so upset today because there's been a cat in the yard and it just drives her insane. Just, she just gets so upset. Um, this is a, a gold-washed sterling silver. I don't know what the stones are. I think they might be some kind of crystal. And that's a real, real deep blue stone in the middle. It's, yeah. it's in an open back setting, so you can tell it's blue when the sun shines through it. But that is, um, I, it could be a sapphire, kind of a low quality sapphire. Anyway, I paid $5 for that. I'll take that and have it checked also. And that is it for the jewelry. And uh, there's not a whole lot of other, I've got a few other things. I was really trying to concentrate on jewelry because um, I needed it. But, oh, I just love this. Look at this. Mirror with a little bird on the top. I, I don't know how old this is. I want to say it's a Dwardian because it has some elements of a Dwardian style. And the back looks pretty old. But I really don't know. I'm trying to do a little more research on this. It could be a reproduction for all I know. It's not brand new, definitely. But, um, I don't know. Just going to have to look into it. And then, even though I, this is a tough, tough sell, I cannot walk away from it. This is more Nippon Bone China. These are little nut dishes. There's four of them. There probably were, um, it probably, you know, event, uh, originally came with a larger bowl and like six smaller ones, but there's four here that got little feet on them. They are um, the Yamato Nippon, and I did look up that brand, and some 
Yamato things sell for pretty high, so that mark doesn't hurt them. Uh, but they're just so pretty hand painted. And Nippon, as I mentioned in my last haul video, means it's before 1923, I think. It's either 21 or 23, I forget. When they ruled that imports from Japan had to say Japan and not Nippon. So, I paid $5 for all four of those. And I think I can sell them. It depends on whether I want to sell them as a set or sell them separately. But I think I can probably get about $15 a piece for them. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> this was kind of a silly purchase, but I bought these two elephants. <laughs> They're, I think they might be lead. Definitely old, you can tell by looking at the bottom. And they, you know, they got some paint loss, but I, I have no idea where they came from. There's no mark on them or anything, but I just thought they were really cute. And they were five dollars for the pair. I don't know. Kind of silly. Uh, I bought this vice. I mostly bought it because it was blue. I thought it was such a pretty color of blue. You just don't often see you know, decorative vices. And it is from Tough Tool. And I don't know very much about the maker. Uh, the only Tough Tool I could find was a division of the American Tool Company. Um, it's not super old because it's got Phillips head screws. It is, I think it's missing a piece that goes right here. Um, you know, you can always use something else in there to make it work. It does work. And the it has one of these, like, uh, vacuum things on the bottom so you can stick it onto a countertop, and that works also. So it is usable, but I just thought it would be a neat, like, man cave decor or something. That color is so cool. I got a vintage postcard book. This is uh, Bois Below Chateau Thierry, Remembrance from France. Uh, these, I have sold one of these very similar before, and what it is, it's postcards that show the um, damage from World War I. It's kind of sobering, but it just it shows a lot of uh, bombed buildings and bombed cities and stuff that was left behind by the Germans as they retreated. Look at that. Um, so dates from 1918. Cover's a little rough, but the postcards are in pretty decent shape. I paid $3 for this, and I, I don't remember what I sold the other for. I'm thinking, seems like I sold it for more than my regular other postcard books that I sell, just because it was more interesting. Uh, I don't know, maybe $20. And about another lacquer box. So it has a bird on it. Love my birds. This was $5. Let's see inside. It's uh, Asian, I'm sure. Um, I don't see any marks on it. But I like the lacquer boxes. Probably sell that for 20, maybe 25. Maybe 25, yeah. Um, the other thing I can't stop buying is Cloisonne, even though it doesn't sell. But look how pretty this is. This is a little matchbox. Look at the work on that. It's cloisonne, and it is also guilloche enamel. So it's that translucent or transparent enamel over a machine-etched background that gives it that texture. A little matchbox. No marks on it. Yes, I paid $10 for it. I just can't help myself. Uh, here's something kind of interesting. This is a hand-painted little box. This is another lacquer, lacquer box. There's the bottom. Definitely got some age. It's a very nice little painting of a ship. There's some boats on the edges, too. Very cute. In reasonably good condition. I don't 
think it's signed. But it's nice, and I paid five dollars for that. Oh, and I, I think you probably saw the price tag on the mirror. I paid fifteen. Yeah, I paid fifteen for the mirror, five for that box, and ten for the poison a box, all for the same person. Uh, then the last thing I have to show you is some linens. Uh, I bought some more dish towels. <laughs> Can't have too many, I always say. <laughs> this is, uh, this one says Hotel New York. I, I might look that up and see if there's any value in it. I kind of doubt it. Um, these were mostly a dollar a piece. I got this one, which says around Sussex, and I had to have this one because I used to have one exactly like this that my uh, stepmother-in-law gave us. We wore it out. It's now in the cleaning rag bin, so I was very excited to find another one just like it. My stepmother-in-law is very ill at this point. She has Parkinson's, so something that I can, that reminds me of her and how sweet and generous she was. She lives in this area of, see this Arundel Castle? She and I went there together. So, anyway. Eh, bug. Uh, let's see, I got myself a cotton hanky. I love these little printed cotton hankies. That's just for me. And then another little, this one um, was one that the lady I was buying from threw in for free. So it's just a little embroidered dishcloth. And I'm, I'm going to take all these embroidered dishcloths and probably put them in a lot. They're so, I, I really like the colors on these. It's kind of mint green. And it's just really beautiful embroidery work. There's another one. And then this one, slightly different color, but it's got needlepoint and embroidery. And there's a second one of those also. So there's two pair plus this odd blue one. And then the last thing is this, um, can I write it up? It's a filet crochet doily with a birdie. More birds. I wonder how many birds I bought this. At least three. Four if you count the one on the JJ pin. <laughs> and, okay. I think that's it. Um, we're gonna. Oh yeah, with a little hello from Muffin. Aren't you a naughty girl? She's such a naughty girl. She's such a bad girl. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it. Thanks. I will see you soon. All of these things are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop, which is vintagedazzle.etsy.com, or on few things might go on eBay, depending. And um, what else do I have to tell you? Anything? I can't think of anything. Uh, please, if you like this video, hit the, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.